All right. Um, awesome here. So let's get through this problem. I have 8n minus uh, 2n minus 3 equals. So this problem is pretty good because I have two variables. So remember, we need to condense them, right? I need to, um, I need to combine them. So I'm going to have to simplify this. Now I'm going to simplify use order of operations. I look inside this parenthesis. I can't do anything inside these parentheses since they're not like terms. However, I do notice this negative sign is outside the parentheses. Remember, the negative sign can be also represented as a negative 1. So it's really negative 1 times 2n minus 3. So here's a couple mistakes. First of all, let's go through it. A lot of students will say, oh, well, you want you to just do 8n minus 2n because it's not 8n minus 2n. It's minus 2n and a negative 3. So what we need to do before we can combine these terms is I need to distribute that negative sign, or what we like to just call the negative 1. So 8n, so we have negative times 2n, or a negative 1 times 2n, which is a negative 2n. And then a negative 1 times negative 3, which would be a positive 3. Or also, you can sometimes just say the opposite. The opposite of 2n is negative 2n. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. Now, you notice I can combine these like terms. 8n minus 2n is 6n plus 3 equals 12. Now, we have a lovely two-step equation. And it's a pretty basic one, too. I, since I'm adding 3 to my n, I'm going to subtract a 3 on both sides by addition pro or subtraction property of equality. Now, I produce the equivalent equation of 6n equals 12. Now I undo multiplication by dividing of 6 on both sides by the division property of quality, and my final solution is n equals 2. So that means when the value of n is 2, this equation is true. You can plug in 2 in for n and to, to verify your solution to make sure it makes it true. But I am hoping that I made no mistakes, and I'm not going to check it for this video. But if you want to do it, um, well, that's not bad really, right? But don't worry um, about this. Sometimes they'll ask us to verify solutions, sometimes not. I'm not asking for this. I just want to find the solution through one method, but it's always good and important to make sure you check your solution.